That being said, what the heck is Collision in Unreal looking for, and how do we manipulate it? My current understanding of Collision for Unreal is twofold. We rely on the object type and the response channel. You'll notice that this is all grayed out on our current object, and that is because we have determined to use a preset. If we change our preset to be custom, then all of a sudden, all of this is going to be interactable for us. So what the heck does all of this mean? Every object has an object type. This is what kind of object this object is going to be in space. There are so many to choose from. And you can add your own if there's nothing here that specifically fits your needs. For instance, world static represents objects that are just staying still in the world, whereas something like a pawn would represent our player that actually moves around the world. Each one of these object types can and will have different responses depending on what they're running up against. The three types of responses you can have are ignore, overlap, and block. When two objects intersect, they're always going to use the least offensive response. Ignore is always the least responsive, overlap is in the middle, and block is the most oppressive. If two two objects are both set to block, you can't pass through. If one is set to block and one is set to ignore, well, then that ignoring object will be able to phase right through. And what makes this powerful is we can choose either on a per object basis or on a preset basis what we would like to interact with. If I change this to be block all, we can see that we are choosing ourselves to be an object type of world static and we are going to block every single object. That means that any other object that is also going to have block is going to be blocked by this wall. To drive this point home, I'm going to show you a few examples. This is a sample block that I've placed in the scene. And based off of its collision settings, we are currently setting it to block all. And as we know from our player, our player is also set to block all. So when I join the game and I run towards this block, we phase right through. And the reason we phased right through is because, again, we have to make sure that our objects are lining up with each other. This block was not properly placed. Let's put it up into the world, and now let's hit play again. And now we are actually properly blocked. And you can see here, based off of this little cheat that I made, that an event is able to be fired when we hit something. So if we look at our player paddle, we can see here that when our object is hit, we print a string. And we can use this to do a whole bunch of things because we get a whole bunch of useful information with this event, such as the other actor or the other component that is involved in the collision. Similar things can be done with overlap. If I change this collision preset of this block away from block all and set it to overlap all instead, now when I hit play, I'm gonna phase right through this block. And you can see that that on hit event no longer is firing. That makes sense because we are taking the least offensive option, which in this case is overlapping. And similarly, if I set no collision, then everything is going to be ignored. And then when I hit play, I can phase right through once again. And just for the sake of completionist here, if you go to edit, project settings, you can go to this collision section right here under engine, and then you're able to look at all of the presets and make any changes you would like. Even more to that, you can add a new preset and you can also add new objects and new trace channels. This can allow you to further customize any project you're working on if you have specific functionality that might not fit in any of these predetermined molds. And I will also add that you don't have to do this just in Blueprint. Inside of the C++ file, you're able to actually assign the collision preset of anything that you would like. So for instance, if by default we want our collider to be blocking everything and our mesh to ignore everything, we can do that. We can do that by going collider, and then we can do set collision profile name, and then when we open up our parentheses here, we can see that it needs an F name that takes in the profile name. So we can create an F name variable, and we know that the collision preset that we want to use here is block all, case sensitive. And we can do something similar down here for mesh, except we want the name to not be block all, we want it to be no collision. So now this sets up the default for our paddle to use different collision profile names. That stops us from having to manually do it every time we create a blueprint. So let's save, compile. But that is the absolute basics of collision in Unreal. And that's all you should need to know for us to understand what we're about to do with